guys in today's video we I'm gonna be showing you guys how to change your edit button to practically any button you want this is for, for PlayStation only uh, I'm gonna come up with a part two in this and learn how to like do other uh, like consoles and switch and keyboard on like how to to have really good edits. So yeah, let's get into today's video. But before we do that, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on. Or I'm gonna get 200 pump you and a freaking 1v1 and you're not gonna be happy about it. So yeah, let's get into today's video. So you're gonna wanna go over to your options button and then you're gonna see settings right here on the top right side of the menu. You're gonna press that and it's gonna say video. Then it, you're gonna go down and it's gonna say mountain blue or something. You're gonna turn that off. Then when you do that, you're going, you can pause the video right now and do it. So I'm just gonna wait. And then go over to game and then go down. And then you're gonna put on confirm edit on release. So it doesn't make your edits faster, but it does make it easier. So you're gonna wanna do that. And also, disable pre-edit option, turn that on. And then you're gonna go over here into HUD scale. Well, G game UI. It's gonna say creative runtime stats. You're gonna turn that on, okay? Then you're gonna go over to controller options and you can have vibration on or off. I would pick it, I would say turn vibration off. That's just my opinion. So you're gonna wanna put the hold uh, edit time on 250 seconds. And then you're gonna go over to audio and then you're gonna go to subtitles options. You're gonna do all of this. And then when you do that, go over to controller. You're gonna go on custom. And then do whatever editing button you want. I like X as my edit button. So you're gonna press the edit button you want. And then you're gonna go down as much as you can. And then when go down to the very bottom, and then you're gonna see push to talk. If you look a little above that, you'll see edit under reload and um on above repair. So you're gonna press that, and it's still gonna say jump. But that's just a little glitch, and it's going to change soon. So if I were you to put the jump button, I would make it left stick or map. And then you're going to go over to edit controls. You're going to make the select button R to select. You're probably like, aren't you supposed to put R1 as confirm? No, you're not. When you put it on confirm, it doesn't do anything. So you're going to put it on select. Okay. When you do that, you can make a confirm L1, but I wouldn't do that. So I, I don't, I have no idea why I have that on. So yeah, that's all you need to do. And uh, you have to press apply. If you don't press apply, it's not gonna do anything. And you're gonna have to restart and watch this whole video. But it's actually good, so then I'll get a couple of views on this then. So yeah that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on and also it takes about 30 minutes to adjust to it so this is how your edits come uh first you're gonna be like moving like really weird like when i started doing it i was like yeah but now i'm like this left watch I did not know that film was going to be there, and that messed up my whole entire thing. Yeah, so it actually helps a lot. I'm just, all right, hold on. Let me try to do this again. I can't do that because that stupid freaking thing is there. And that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe with notifications on. And peace out, baby.